Hey everybody, just gonna tell you about an issue I ran into recently on the, the Dynamite 3000 here. Uh, it had nothing to do with the lathe. It had to do with the Mach 3 software and the communication with my breakout board and actually not really those were at fault either. It's actually something to do with the computer. Um, I've been running this thing, I mean I haven't really got it dialed in, I made a few parts on it but I, I haven't really been you know pumping them out. I've been working on it recently trying to get to where I can do some production runs, and all of a sudden I was losing steps. Uh, I would, I, I have a radius on the end of my uh, joystick knobs that I make, and it would do the first cuts just fine. Move in, move out, like that, everything was fine. And then all of a sudden it would make a move, I think it was supposed to be moving a 0.2 inch um, uh, in the X direction, and it would go from 0.6 to 0.2, but it would actually only move about a sixteenth of an inch. And you could, you could hear it. Um, one of the things I've learned with these CNC machines is you, you can hear a lot. Um, with machining in general, you can hear a lot of what's going on and you, you tune by ear for a lot of this. And I heard it and I said, that's weird. And I stopped it and checked and I'm like, I'm off by almost a half of an inch? That, that, that is really weird. What's going on? Eh, must be a glitch. Restarted the computer because, you know, fall else fail, screw it. Restart and see what happens. Didn't fix the problem. Ran a couple more times, could not figure it out, went through, checked all my settings, checked my motor tuning, slowed my motors down, thinking, ah, maybe I'm exceeding the speed that the steppers can keep up with. Nothing fixed it. Went online and, uh, you know, gotta love the power of the Google. Went on Google and thanks to some people on message boards back five, six years ago, found a couple threads talking about this issue. I made a change and it works. I don't know why, I don't know how, and from what I've read on message boards, it actually seems like Artsoft, the people who make Mach 3, don't really recommend it because it's kind of a crutch around whatever the real communication problem is. For now, I'm gonna keep working with it and I'm gonna see what happens. I may have to get a new computer for this mill, or for this lathe. Uh, I got a $30 computer I bought on Craigslist. I run these old Windows XP machines because all I have on them is basically Mach 3 and Firefox so I can download uh, files and, and get online to, to figure out things when I'm having issues with them. But I don't really use them for much else. They just need to do the basic functions. There seems to be an issue with communication timing um, with multiprocessor CPUs. Um, so I'm going to show you on this computer what I did. Actually, I'm going to start with one of my other machines. Because I went around and I checked my other computers and I was like, well, what setting do they have? Turns out every other machine I'm running, I'm running the router, the little lathe, um, and the, the mill, all with XP computers, all were set to what this was set to, and they all worked just fine. Um, so it definitely seems to be a hardware, software combination error. Um, still not 100% sure why it fixed the problem, but it did. So if you get random stalling in your motors, this is something to try um, and may or may not fix your problems. Um, I actually did two changes. The other one was um, changing the pole, the, uh, the, I forget what it's actually phrased. I'll show you in the motor tuning where you, where you change the other setting too. Um, so I'll, I'll jump over to the other lathe first and show you what it used to look like. Then I'll come back and show you on this one what I switched it to. So here we are on the computer I'm using on the little Sakai lathe. Um, and this one's been working just fine with these settings. What you do is you go into control panel, system, hardware, device manager, and then your very top one here is computer. Hit the little plus to expand that. And see where this says ACPI multiprocessor PC. That evidently is what can cause a problem. Okay, so here we are over on the Dynamite computer. And you'll notice that under a computer, instead of saying ACPI multiprocessor, it says standard PC. Um, not sure why it says it twice. I hadn't noticed that before. Uh, but it says it twice. Uh -huh. So what you do is you right click and you say properties. Again, standard PC here. Uh, 
car to driver and what I actually did was I did update driver and at this point I said um, no not at this time because I don't want to search for the driver then next and then from click install from a specific location next don't search I will choose the driver I want to install next and then in this list the very bottom one on mine was standard PC and I selected that hit next installed and then restarted you can see up here is the ACPI multiprocessor or uniprocessor so while that did fix my issues it wasn't as straightforward as I had hoped because when I restarted none of the other drivers are installed so my resolution was 800 by 600 looked like I was in safe mode and my USB devices didn't work my keyboard mouse none of that worked try to PC or a PS2 rather keyboard that also didn't work so when all else fails restart restart it again when it came back on the uh, monitor drivers have been installed or the uh, the graphics drivers have been installed and the USB drivers still weren't installed but I was able to use the PS2 keyboard on the restart um, I believe that it just had to be plugged in when it started in order to work and then I was able to click through it found the drivers no problem reinstalled everything um, you can see down here that my Ethernet drivers still aren't installed I actually don't think I ever had those installed on this computer so I don't think that was a new error um, and the only other change I made was in Mach 3 under motor tuning so config motor or uh, yeah, motor tuning I changed my step pulse to 2 and my direction pulse to 3 again this is off recommendations on message boards um, I, I believe that that's just a timing thing for how long it actually takes the signal to, to go through and if you're sending the signal too fast uh, basically the stepper motors don't get the signal from the PC through the breakout board to the motor drivers to the motors and so you end up losing steps um, so these are kind of minimal changes that are necessary but they worked um, the, it does seem to be very PC specific um, the other two machines or the three machines rather that I have running in here all are set to that ACPI multiprocessor and they work fine haven't ever had this issue so I don't know if it's this particular computer has an issue if it's the processor has an issue um, it's one of those great things about running older software and older computers there's a lot of information out there on the internet to help you I didn't see anything on YouTube that's why I decided to make the video today because I had to read this off archive message boards because a lot of this information is old um, we're talking probably 10 15 year old computers I'm using out here uh, but they work they work just fine so I didn't see the need to go out and buy a you know, few hundred dollar computer even when I can go get one for under 50 bucks and when it dies I'll throw it in the trash and I'll buy another one for under $50 um, and, and go right back to, to working. So, yeah, if you have the same problem as me where you're missing steps, give this a try. If anybody knows why this works or why this is not the right thing to do, I would love to hear from you in the comments below. I, I know that it fixed my problem, but I don't know that it was necessarily the right thing to fix my problem. Uh, luckily, I'm not doing parts that I only have enough material to make one part. If I run into the problem again, I will probably just throw out this computer and buy a new one, to be honest. But if there's a better solution out there, or if this is a good solution, let me know if you understand what this actually does to the computer. Because I hate doing things that I don't know why they fix the problem. I just know that they fix the problem. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, make sure to share my other videos if you're interested in the Dynamite Retrofit um, or any of the other CMC machines that got around the shop. Thanks.